that's the puzzle video team. We are here with a new section. In each new episode, we try to explore the dark valleys of deep seas altogether. Today we will try to tell you the planet Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in the solar system. After Jupiter, it is a gas giant with an air-inch radius of about nine times that of Earth. It only has one eighth the average density of Earth. However, with its larger volume, Saturn is over 95 times more massive. Saturn is named after the Roman god of wealth and agriculture. The Romans named the seventh day of the week Saturday, no later than the second century for the planet Saturn. Saturn's interior is most likely composed of a core of iron, nickel and rock, silicon and oxygen compounds. Its core is surrounded by a deep layer of metallic hydrogen, an intermediate layer of liquid hydrogen and liquid helium and finally a gaseous outer layer. Saturn has a pretty yellow hoodoo to ammonia crystals in its upper atmosphere. An electrical current within the metallic hydrogen layer is thought to give rise to Saturn's planetary magnetic field, which is weaker than the Earth's, but has a magnetic moment 580 times that of Earth due to Saturn's larger size. Saturn's magnetic field strength is around one third of Jupiter's. The outer atmosphere is generally blunt and lacking in contrast. All too long light features can appear when it spins on Saturn, one point at 100 kilometers higher than on Jupiter, but not as high as twos on the Neptune. The planet's most famous feature is its prominent ring system, which is composed mostly of ice particles with a smaller amount of rocky debris and dust. At this year to two months are known to orbit Saturn, of which 53 are official named. This does not include the hundreds of moonlets in its rings. Titan, Saturn's largest moon and the second largest in the solar system, is larger than planet Mercury, although less massive, and is the only moon in the solar system to have a substantial atmosphere. Saturn is a gas giant because its pipe dominates the compost of hydrogen and helium. It lacks a definite surface. To get my hair a solid core, Saturn's rotation causes it to have the shape of an oblate spheroid. It is planeted at the bows and boats, at its acute standard planetary models, suggest that the interior of Saturn is similar to that of Jupiter. Having a small rocky core surrounded by hydrogen and helium, with trace amounts of various volatiles. This core is similar in composition to Earth, but is more dense. The examination of Saturn's gravitational moment, in combination with physical models of the interior, has allowed constraints to be placed on the mass of Saturn's core. Saturn has a hot interior reaching 11,700 degrees centigrade at its core and it radiates 2.5 times more energy into space than its rivers from the Sun. Jupiter's thermal energy is generated by the kelvin helmholtz mechanism of slow gravitational compression, but such a process alone might not be sufficient to explain heat production for Saturn because it is less massive. An alternative or additional mechanism might be generation of heat through the running out of droplets of helium deep in Saturn's interior. As the droplets descend through the lower density hydrogen, the process releases heat by friction and leaves Saturn's outer layers depleted of helium. These descending droplets might have accumulation into a helium shell surrounding the core. Rainfalls of diamonds have been suggested to occur within Saturn, 
as well as in Jupiter and as giants Uranus and Neptune. The outer atmosphere of Saturn contains present 96.3 molecular hydrogen and present 3.25 helium by volume. The proportion of helium is significantly deficient compared to the abundance of this element in the Sun. The quantity of elements heavier than helium is not now precisely, but the proportions are assumed to match the prime model abundance from the formation of the solar system. The total mass of these higher elements is estimated to be 1931 times the mass of Earth, with a significant fraction located in Saturn's core region. Trace amounts of ammonia, acetylene, ethene, propane, phosphine, and methane have been detected in Saturn's atmosphere. The upper clouds are composed of ammonia crystals, while the lower level clouds appear to consist of either ammonium hydrosulfate of water. Ultraviolet radiation from the sun causes methane photolysis in the upper atmosphere, leading to a series of hydrocarbon chemical reactions with the resulting products being carried downward by adios and diffusion. This photochemical cycle is modulated by Saturn annual season cycle. Deep space is that wide, and it is horrible that we do not know exactly, but it looks like our most wonderful world of the planet so far. Hope to see you again. Goodbye for now.